Hello everyone, welcome to Card Making Fundamentals and welcome to the Merry Wishes Classroom. Thank you for bearing with me. I've been so out of whack with these classrooms the last few months and um, I'm glad you're sticking with me. <laughs> uh, today we are going to create with lesson kit number one. Before we jump in, I do want to go over the supplies that we need for our classroom. I have a little, little bin of what we need. Now uh, you're going to need some black ink and I'm using a dye based ink. This is really nice. Um, stamps really good. And this actually came in a previous kit. I forgot I had this and I'll be using this. We're going to use this to stamp our sentiment. And then we're going to need a colored ink, um, maybe a corally red. I think this one went perfect with our cardstock, with our pattern paper. And this is a ombre ink pad. So if you're a previous student or a, um, or if you signed up for this, cl the classroom that I put this in the kit, break this out because this will go perfect with your card making. Now, if you don't have this ink pad, a close second would be a color similar to Abandoned Coral Distress Oxide Ink. It's like a corally pinky red color. This will go good with, with our pattern paper too. Or any kind of ink that you have that's like a corally color would work. So I'm going to be using this. You're also going to need a green ink. This is like a forest green ink. Break that out. I'm using Memento Cottage Ivy. I like the color. It goes really well with our pattern paper. Let me show you an example. You can actually use the top of your stamp set as kind of as a guide. You want a green that's pretty similar to the packaging here. And then you also want um, a corally color or a pink color that's kind of in between the pink and the red that's on here. Okay, then you're going to need scissors. And my kitty went outside. <laughs> and she can't go outside because there's another cat that um, she doesn't get along with. And that's not that's not a good combination when they're both out at the same time. Chin -chin. No, no, baby. Get down. Get away. Get away from the window. You can't go out there. Blue's out there. You're going to need a wax pencil. I'm going to be using or a jewel picker upper. This I actually came in a previous kit. And then you're going to need a craft pick. And then you can't go outside, honey. You need acrylic block. You probably need something bigger because you're going to need to stamp the believe. Actually, this will fit perfect. We need to stamp the believe. So acrylic block that you can stamp this with. This actually came in one of the very first kits. And then you're going to need some glue. So two, three different inks, black, green, corally red, a stamping block, a jewel picker upper, a craft pick, scissors, and your glue. Everything else is in the kit. And I'm going to put this off to this. Actually, keep our inks out because we're going to do a little bit of stamping. And then we're going to take everything out of our lesson kit number one. And we're going to be creating two cards today and a tag. We're going to do that all month long, every Friday for the first four Fridays. Um, kind of making up for me, um, me being late. Before we get started, I want to mention that um, next month's classroom usually goes live on the first, um, but I'm changing it around a little bit. Uh, I need a little bit more time. A lot of my design team obligations and a lot of my posts are, are due um, the, the second week of the month through the first. So that's a really, really busy um, two weeks for me. And that's usually when I also get the kits done. Um, I have to switch that around because it's overwhelming me. So what I'm going to do is start selling the kits and putting them to go live on the 12th. I think, um, I think a little over two weeks will be plenty of time to get the kits to you if you want to join the classroom. So they'll still be on your craft desk when the, the class goes live. It's just, you're going to, they'll be go up for sale on the 12th. So look for uh, December's kit on Dece uh, November 12th. If you guys are interested, I, I haven't had a chance to send out emails because I wanted to redo this to let you guys know. But on November 12th, the next classroom 
will go up for sale. I'll send, I'll send out an email probably this weekend to let you guys know. Um, I really, really apologize for everything it kind of being out of whack. I'm kind of going through a little bit of family issues and um, my brain's just, I've, I've been a little bit scatterbrained and um, the craft room is actually helping a lot, but it's a little bit overwhelming getting, putting everything together. So November 12th, it will be when the next classroom goes live. So that's a little news brief. Let's jump in and make some cards. Are you ready? I love that we're creating two cards and then one tag. So we're going to start by doing some stamping. You can't go out there, honey. Blue is just going to get up, get you all upset. Okay, I do want to mention that usually we can take our packaging and we can put this our card in here and our packaging is a little bit small. I ran out of the larger ones. I did order them. They came in and so November's class will have um, the packaging that you could put your card in. Um, November's actually class is, is super cute <laughs> just by the way. Okay so just you won't be able to fit your finished card in that plastic bag. I wanted to let you know that. We have two pieces of white cardstock in lesson kit number one and one of them if you take the polka dot pattern paper here line it up the width of it's the same exact we're not going to use this one we're going to use the other one we're going to break out the larger piece of white cardstock this is what we're going to do our stamping on now we're going to bring in our stamp set and we're going to grab the Christmas tree and we'll put this on your acrylic block we're going to stamp the Christmas tree two times with our green ink. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see some a little bit better. You might need to rub your stamp. I've been using mine because I have my demo cards. Let me show you. This is what we're going to create today. These are um, what I create before I create my video. I have to take pictures for you guys, so I have to do it twice. <laughs> but go over your stamp with your Christmas tree Get with your hand. And then, using your green ink, ink up, and it inks up really well. Ink up for, and I, I don't know if these are photopolymer or acrylic stamps, but they stamp beautifully for me. I like it. And we're going to ink this up, stamp it on the white cardstock here. And we're going to do this twice. Okay, and then you're going to need to clean off your stamp. I'm going to use my stamp cleaner. I love this stuff. I actually have this in the shop, but I need to get a towel here. And once we have our Christmas tree cleaned off, this is where our ombre ink pad will come in. And again, if you don't, let me show you the, the difference. I'm going to grab some scratch paper. I'm going to first stamp with my ombre. The nice thing is this is a, a dye-based ink and it really is a vibrant color. I'm going to, you can see almost the three colors here. I'm going to stamp this twice. So pretty. We'll do it once more. Lovely. And then I'm going to clean off my stamp. And I'm going to stamp with a band of coral. I'm going to show you the color difference. You definitely probably need a stamp cleaner or stamp chamois to clean off your Christmas tree. Okay, I'm going to stamp it with my abandoned coral. I'm going to stamp it on a piece of scratch paper just to show you the color. You see how they're pretty similar? This is a little splotchy, but they're pretty similar. So if you have abandoned coral, you can use that. Okay, after we have this done, we are going to put our tree back on the package. Chance! What? Let me show you. Come here. 
this is the little girl that's making all the noise. <laughs> Her name is Chance and she is a little booger. Come here, say hello. Say hello. Say hello. She wants to go outside, but we have a kitty. Oh. And they don't get along at all. So we have to kind of keep them separated. I'm taking the small Christmas tree. After we have our small Christmas tree on our acrylic block, go back to your green ink and we're going to stamp two of these small trees. We'll stamp these. And I think we are good to go. I'm going to put this back. Keep your stamp set out because we're going to use it. Um, keep your stamp. We're going to use it. We need to stamp our believe. Now I'm going to use my scissors. And we're going to fussy cut each one of our Christmas trees out. When I fussy cut, I actually like to separate um, my images. It just makes it easier. But these are pretty much straight shapes, so you sh um, straight cuts are nice. And I do leave a little bit of a border. Let me show you when I cut. Okay. If not, then yeah, on the 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 last week, the last two weeks of the month are crazy busy for me. I have um a lot of projects that I need to get done and I'm I, I get stressed out because I can't put the, ki the kits together and, and have everything uh, going out at the same time just to create an email for you guys it takes me about a day to do that <laughs> and so um, if I put the kits up for sale in the middle of the month it just makes it a lot easier um, and I can be more productive with that. I was supposed to take October off, but that didn't happen because of um, a family situation and that I'm still dealing with actually. It's kind of a tough, tough situation. And I was supposed to move my craft room upstairs and separate fundamentals from cards and coffee time. I just didn't get it to it, get to it because I spent uh, most of that month in California. <laughs> and so I'm a little bit behind schedule and I appreciate all of you um, sticking with me. When I put this kit up for sale, I, I created extra kits and they, it's sold out so fast. But I, I really appreciate that because it tells me you guys are really loving the kits in the classrooms. Okay. And we have one more tree. Aren't they kind of cute? I just love this. Christmas. I can't believe how fast it is. It is coming super soon. Trick-or-treating. Last year we were busier for trick-or-treaters. We didn't get too many this year. We have extra candy, which is not good because, well, you know, because if you have extra candy, I, um, well, good thing the kids and the husband like to eat it. I actually created a bag and put it on my mailbox for the postman <laughs> because our post, our post lady delivers lots of packages for me. <laughs> 
I put her to work and so I gave her some extra candy, but I'm rambling, but we are all done. So there's our Christmas trees. All good to go. Now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna put our inks off to the side and we're gonna work on our first card. And I went ahead and taped down the striped paper to my card base. And usually I do it on camera, but I got sidetracked and and this was the last piece of paper I had, so I have to use this one. <laughs> so tack down your striped paper to your card base. Make sure it opens the right way. And then after we have this done, we have our polka dot pattern paper, and then we have our white pattern paper. And we're gonna use, if you need a ruler, you can use that or you can just eyeball it. We're gonna start about right here and create a hill hillside. So let's go ahead and just create a hillside. I think that looks good. Keep this one. We're gonna use this for a smaller hillside. Okay, this is gonna go on the bottom of our little panel, but before we adhere it, I'm gonna actually angle it a little bit more. Like so. If you're not good at freehanding this, what you can do is take a circle die. Let me show you. You can take a circle die if you have them and then what you would do is you can actually use a circle die to, to create an arch. Just run this through your die cut machine. That's an option. I know a lot of us does, don't have circle dies, so freehanding it's okay. And there's plenty of room if you need to redo it. We're going to stamp our believe right here on the bottom. Let's take our, our believe from our stamp set. This is where our black ink will come in handy. This black ink, I would say, is, is comparable to VersaFine Onyx black ink. We're going to stamp Believe right here on the bottom. Press down. Lovely. And there is our sentiment. I'm going to go ahead and clean off my stamp. I should have said you need a, curl, um, a baby wiper or a stamp cleaner in the, um, when I listed the supplies. It's about hindsight, I suppose. Now we have our belief. We're going to flip this around using our tape runner. We're going to adhere, take your tape runner out. We're going to adhere this to the bottom of our polka dot paper. So, after we have this adhered, we're going to flip this around, add some more, and I ran out of adhesive. I have backup. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to take this, and in our little cardstock pile, we have our green uh, grid line paper. We're going to add this right in the middle evenly spacing all four sides. Wonderful. We're going to flip this around and then this is where our second package comes in handy. We're going to take everything out. I gave extra twine. I thought maybe we would run out so I have lots of extra twine. So I have some foam circles and we have the little glue dots here. Foam circles we're going to add behind our panel. I'm just going to add five. I guess that's all there is, so that's good. Okay, let's remove the release paper. Okay. 
And then I'm going to take our panel. We're going to flip it around and put it right down the middle of our, our card base. Like so. After we have this done, we are going to go to our embellishment die cuts. In our embellishment die cuts, we're going to open this up. There are some tags. Let me see if I can grab one. These ones here. Grab one of your silver banners. And then you're also going to need one of your, your other banners. Like this one. Okay, there's there's some that have holes, some that don't. And for this card, it really doesn't matter which one you use. But I picked the one that didn't have um, that doesn't have a hole. Okay, I'm going to use the back of my circle foam sheet, put this on it, and then we're going to bring back our acrylic block. And in our stamp set, we have the polka dot banner. Let's take that and put it on our acrylic block. Okay. Just barely fit. We're going to stamp polka dots on this banner. So we're going to bring back our ombre ink pad or your coral color ink. Again, you might need to rub your stamp, kind of season it a little bit. And then you're going to pick up this ink. Like so. And then this, this is going to stamp right over those banners. Stamp it. It's going to overlap a little bit, but that's okay. And then we have some polka dots on that banner. Let's go ahead and clean off this stamp. Put this back. And we need to keep your stamp set out. We're going to use it one more time. Okay. Now we can add our Christmas trees. Actually, let's add our banners. We're going to add a little bit of adhesive behind our silver one on the very top. And then we're going to crisscross this at the very top, like so. I have inky fingers. And then adding a little bit of tape with your tape runner, we're going to adhere this. on our card base. If you want to put a foam square behind that banner, you can. At the very top because it's overhanging. I'm going to go ahead and tuck this under there. This way everything is nice and even. I'm going to take some of my baker's twine and I'm going to tie a bow. It doesn't have to be that big. And we'll just trim the tails real fast. And then I'm going to take one of my glue dots here. This is where a craft pick comes in handy. I'm going to grab one of these glue dots. There's a plastic sheet over the glue dot. And then there's a small plastic. Whoops, let me show you. Okay, you see there's a small plastic over that plastic here. 
small plastic circle. So you have to remove that to get it to stick to your banners. Okay, then you can add your bow that we created with the baker's twine and stick that on top. Wonderful. Now we're going to take a green tree and a pink or corally tree. Using one of our foam squares, we are going to add one to each one. These foam squares are a little tricky getting that, getting that top piece off. If you need it, you can use your craft pick. We're going to overlap these like this. And we'll place them on our little heel side. Like so. If you want to trim your bow a little bit, you can. After we have this done, we have little stars. We're going to use the craft pick and put one star on each one of our trees. And if you want to add a, one more foam square behind it, you can. There's our stars on our trees. I give you an extra one. And then we're going to use the last one for our, our um, other card. So hang on to that. Okay, last but not least, we're going to take our stickles. This is our Stardust Stickles. And on each one of these little dots that are on our trees, we're going to add a little sparkle. So just go over those with the stickles. And it will dry nice and sparkly and shiny. My dots are a little bit bigger than the dots on the trees, and that's okay. And then that will finish off our first card. I'm going to set this aside to dry, and now we're going to jump in to our next card. For our next card, you're going to need to go to your pack of card bases and envelopes. And take one of our cards out here. Okay, this one's going to be really easy and simple. This little extra piece of cardstock, um, let me show you. That's the best way to do this. Um, in our die cut pack, there is a small frame. There's actually lots of small frames. Let's grab one. This is the frame that is this size. Okay, there's a, there's one that has a bigger border like this. You don't want that one. Although you could use it, but this one actually we're going to use for another card. <laughs> Let's put this back. And take your silver frame, okay? I would say line it up on that extra piece of cardstock. Trim one side, okay, and then you want it a little bit smaller, so I would just take a little bit more off so you know that this is going to fit behind your frame. Now I'm not worried about the top side because what we're going to do next is create another heel side. This one, I would say start about half of an inch from the bottom, right here, and this can be a different kind of heel side, whatever you want. Just kind of, if you want to make an S shape, you can. Your heels does, it's, most of it's going to be covered. You just need something to stick your trees to. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side. And then, using your glue, where's my glue? I'm going to go around the bottom edge here of my frame. And then, just here, flip it around and add your snowbank to it so it fits behind. And I got a lot of glue. And 
And I do want to say, I don't think you want to get glue on the silver. You can see it. But once we have glue or snow bank behind our frame, we can flip this around. And we're going to go ahead and add glue all along the back of it. And then take it and just place it on your window. You can use the curves on your window as a guide. You can even open it up when you place it. But you see what I meant? Don't get your glue on the, the silver because it's kind of stains it a little bit. While we have our card open in our leftover pattern papers, we have this polka dot. Let's use our tape runner. And what I like to do is line it up behind our window like so and then close it. So now we have our pattern paper on the inside like this. And I think we still have plenty of room to write around here. After we have this, we're going to go ahead and take our, one of our trees. We're taking the two smaller ones, adding a little glue. I, I would say add the glue to the bottom of your trees here. My glue clogged. There we go. Don't worry about the top of these little trees because um, they're going to be in floating, basically. Let's add one to the left. Pick up our other tree, one to the right, like so. And then we're going to take our big tree. And this one, we're going to use one of our foam scars. And I'm going to trim it into, I'm going to trim it in half because I want, basically want the trunk area. The rest of the tree is going to be in the open area and you don't want that to um, stick to the background. So you just need basically half of a foam square. We're going to remove the release paper here and then add your tree in between the others. That one shifted a little bit. Like that. Okay, I made so the bottom of my tree will hit the bottom of the frame almost. After we have this done, we have our little star. We can add that to the top of this tree. Cute. Okay. And then we're going to open our card. Well, this is taking a little longer than half an hour, but that's okay. We are going to take our Believe once more. So we need an acrylic block, our black ink, and then we need our I believe once more we're going to pick this up with our acrylic block and then we're going to stamp believe right underneath our window a good guide to get this straight is using the straight line of the believe I think that's going to help out and We'll stamp this. Wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and clean off my stamp. And then in our classroom lesson kit, we that's all the stamping that we're going to do. So we have our little enamel dot package. Take these out, and then I'm gonna add a. I got inks on my fingers. I'm gonna add our green here, kind of filling in this little area over here. Green, and then we'll go with the the peach color. And 
and then we'll go the red, small red. And that was just strange. My my pearl or my enamel dot, the sticker part came. I didn't know they had stickers on here. I'm gonna add a little glue. Mine mine just popped popped off from the release paper. Okay. I hope yours I hope yours didn't do that. <laughs> and then we have we're going to take a medium red. Yeah, this one did too. How odd. I hope your guys' stuff is not doing this. See, this is the release paper. You might have to use your glue. Add a little dot. Add one red on top. I hope not. It's just weird. Maybe my temperature control is not very good in my craft room. Okay. And I'm going to re-add this. There we go. So two on top, three here on the, on the bottom. And I'm going to put the rest of these off to the side. Actually, I'll put that in my little box. And then that almost done. What we're going to do is take our extra twine here. Okay. We're going to tie a bow around the side of our card. Our bow is going to be towards the top. like so. And then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Kind of straighten it out a little bit. Trim the tails. Keep this one. We're going to use this for a tag. And then that finishes off card number two. We're going to move along to our tag now. Let's go ahead and set that aside for our tag. Of course, you're going to need a tag. So let's grab our tag bag here. Sometimes the tags will stick together, guys. Let me show you. Like this one stuck together. There's actually two. So you, could, you might have to separate them. And in this bag, we're going to need a bell. And one of the wooden stars. So grab one of those. And I don't think we'll need any foam adhesive. I think we still have enough left over. Okay. So I'm going to put this back in the rest of my kit. Um. And I forgot to do something with the last card. We'll do it all together. I'll tell you in just a minute what we forgot. Or maybe you can tell me. <laughs> see if you guys know what I missed. Okay. Um, in our die cut pack here, we have some stars. You want to take... There we go. The largest star here. We're going to use that on our project. We'll put these back. Lots of extras. Okay, we have this. These are what we have left here. So we're going to take this pattern paper and make sure that the loops are facing the arches are not heels. We want them to look go the opposite way. Let's use our tape runner and adhere this. To, you're going to line up the bottom edge here to the bottom edge of your, your, um, actually you can go, wow, line up the bottom edge of your cardstock to the bottom edge of your tag. 
by here. And then use your scissors and then just trim around it. Since this had a curve, um, we have to curve it around like so. Okay, we have our grid paper to add adhesive behind this. And then we're going to tack this down over. We're going to tack it down almost a little bit. Of, so we have one, two, three, four of the, the loop showing. How about that? Trim off the excess. And we have our little polka dot paper pattern paper. We can use glue for this. What I would prefer is just to add a small strip of glue down the middle of that grid paper and then we can add our polka dots right down the middle. Any excess overhanging we'll just trim off with our scissors. can't believe Christmas is around the corner. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Usually for Christmas, the older my year kids get, you know, the more expensive they get. So I try to start early. And I had got the my my girls those little makeup fridges. I don't know if you guys well, they're little itty bitty fridges that you could probably fit four sodas in. But you're supposed to put like your facial creams and stuff in there and they're big on that. So I got them two of those. And I put them in the garage in a brown bag tied up like it's garbage. <laughs> and did you know they found it? Yes, that was one gift that they found. And then I bought them some real pretty jewelry boxes. And I'm rambling, let's create while I ramble. I got them some real pretty jewelry boxes. And they're the big ones. Um, I thought if I can space it out, it's not as expensive during the holidays. I'm gonna put a foam square behind my tree here. And then they, I had those in my room. They came home. We came home at the same time, and I was just unloading them. So I threw them in my room, put them on the side of my bed, and then slid, slid them under my bed. Do you know they found those too? I was like, oh my goodness. They're killing me. I don't know. They're not going to have no surprises. Little boogers. Both of them. Teenage girls are so hard. All they want is new iPhones. And I don't want to spend $800 for a new iPhone. No, we just got them new phones a couple years ago. So they need to wear those out first. <laughs> Let's go ahead and before we add our bells and whistles, we're going to thread our tag. Okay. Now we're going to take our leftover string. And we're going to thread it through just like so. We might need to trim this down a little bit. Some of your, your twine might be super long so you don't need this extra you could actually save this for another project um, or we might need it for another project so set that aside okay now since we threaded our our tag here take um, the top piece of string take your your star put that through first and then take your bell we're going to thread this through if you're having trouble threading through your bell, take your glue, add a little bit to your acrylic block, just a little bit. Run your glue through the end and then kind of twist it. When you twist it, make sure you're twisting the same way that the, the twine goes through and it will create a point. And then you can add your bell. Like so, super easy. Um, clean off your acrylic block before it dries makes life a lot easier okay and then we're gonna tie a knot with our Baker's twine when I tie it I want to make sure that my bill is almost covering the tag here and then we're gonna tie a bell like so And you can make the bow as big or as little as you like. That's the best thing. But I like the little movement of the star. And then you have jingle bells. I love jingle bells at Christmas. Now we're going to use our glue. And we're going to add a dot at the very top of this um, tree. 
taking our wooden star, we're going to add that. And I'm going to add it to where the 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 holes of the star are next to each other. I don't like them kind of wonky. Well, it's going to take a little time to set, but while it sets, bring back in the last card that we made. We're going to put this off to the side. We don't need this. And we don't need, um, we have a little extra foam tape. Put that in your your vinyl pouch. I call it a vinyl pouch, but it's your, your pocket that your envelopes are in. If that's what you like. Or you can put it back in your little bag for extras. <laughs> bring back your window card. And what we're going to need to do is take our stardust stickles and I forgot to add sparkle to these trees so let's add some sparkles I want to add them to the small ones too and then we'll add sparkle to the green tree that's on our tag when it dries it will dry sparkly and pretty and then this is lesson one of our uh, Mary Wishes classroom so we have two cards screw them over here and we have our regular card our window card and our tag the green if you're using a um, a dye based ink your stickles will pick up a little bit of that ink not necessarily, it doesn't look like it's picking up the dye based ink, but my Memento ink is a a dye ink and it's picking up the color. You can see the, the ornaments through the stickles are turning a little bit green. That's what this one's going to do too. I kind of like that. <laughs> but these are our projects. I'll see you next Friday for uh, lesson number two of our Mary Wishes classroom. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for putting up with my jibber jabber. Um, have a wonderful day and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.